Welcome to today's video, guys. Today, we're gonna give you seven back training variations instead of a barbell row. Before we begin, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe, and now we'll continue with the video. So, uh, exercise number one is a very common exercise and one I'm a big, big fan of, and that's a single arm dumbbell row. So this not only works your back, but also works your core. One of the key teaching points of this is you wanna have the foot forward on the side you're rowing and have the other foot back. Now this will give you stability and you wanna put your, your weight mainly over the front foot and then think about driving the weight back towards your hip, almost into like the pocket there. And instead of thinking about pulling through your hand, think about pulling through your elbow and trying to keep a nice continuous tempo, not just launching the weight. We wanna try and minimize rotation of the trunk. With your opposite hand, you wanna place that onto the bench and then keep your abs tight and braced and that should almost have like a tripod effect between your two feet and the hand supported on the bench. This is a really, really good exercise as well to work on any imbalances, because obviously we're focusing on one side at a time. So a very easy tip would be to focus on your weaker side first. So for me, my left hand, and then I'll go into the right hand for the second part of the set. Next up, we're gonna do a dual arm dumbbell row, but we can do it chest supported with the bench. So the advantage of that is it allows us more external stability so that our torso isn't flexing. Because what we want to do is have our upper body set in stone and then just our arms are pulling through our back, which is then going to give us maximum tension and maximum results. So with this, there's two variations. Variation one, where we're going to drive our elbows lower and then back down towards our hips, which is predominantly going to train our lats and more of our mid to lower back. Variation number two, we're driving our elbows out and further wider, which is going to develop much more of our upper back, rear delts, and bring in a lot more of our traps. So there's two different variations depending on what type of bot part of your back you're trying to train. I would personally recommend probably mainly starting with the uh, closer tucked position, having elbows closer to your frame, try and drive your elbows back, and then starting to bring in the upper back row. But play around with them and then work with them depending on what part of your back you're trying to focus on within that workout. So single arm seat cable row is a superb exercise because we have the continuous tension from the cable. So the key with a single arm cable row is to make sure that our foot is down on the side we're rowing. And then what we're gonna do is on the side uh, we're not rowing, we're gonna have that foot placed onto the pedestal and our opposite arm into there. And we're gonna try and create almost like a tripod effect through our hips. And the key here is keeping your sternum upright and leaning slightly forward and not folding in. One of the biggest mistakes a lot of people make with back training is they don't focus on core bracing. So their spine is flexing constantly as they're going through the movement. They've got no tension in their back because they're constantly letting the tension off. As they try and shorten the muscle, they're lengthening it from the other end by flexing into it. So rat chins is probably one of my favorite back exercises. So key with this is we want to make sure that our hips are lower than our feet and we can get a really nice stretch through the full range of motion. Uh, this is an exercise I actually personally like to use straps on always as well. And I can find you can get really well gripped into the bar. Uh, you can use a Smith machine for this or you can use a power rack. You just need to set the height of the bar obviously correctly. In terms of grip width, I would probably go two inches outside the shoulder width, it's probably about correct. And one thing you can do as well to open up your back and open and having more mobility and flexibility is train this exercise to complete failure. Try and pull yourself all the way up to the bar. And then when you get to the bottom and you failed and you can't do any more reps, hold that hanging position for 60 seconds and that will help to open up all the muscles within your back and within your shoulders. So T-bar row is a really good exercise in terms of training more of our mid back. The key with this is again, having an actual forward tilt. Because again, you'll see too many people do a T-bar row, standing up too much weight, and they're just using their traps in their upper back. Again, we want to focus on every time we're rowing up, that we also keep our abs really braced and tight, so we're not flexing or moving at all. And then when you get to the top, try and have a slight squeeze, and make sure you're fully lengthening and pushing as way as far as you can at the bottom, so you get the biggest range of movement possible. So the Meadows row is a great exercise, again, to try and work unilaterally. So again, I would use a split stance with this. So we're gonna have the foot back on the side we're rowing. We'd use our opposite hand to place on a knee for support. So again, we're having that tripod sort of structure. And again, we wanna try and think about driving our elbow back towards our hip to go our lap short, and then again, fully lengthen. This isn't an exercise I recommend you try and use too much weight. Focus on contraction rather than load. So this is a plethora of exercises you can use instead of using a barbell row, which is a bit old hat and a lot of people like to do, but here's some different options. So let me know which one of yours is your favorite. Drop a comment below in the comment section. Make sure you stay tuned for the next videos. Hit the like, smash the subscribe. If you want to help with your own fitness journey, hit the link below this video and you can book in your free strategy call with myself and the C2 coaching team.